At the meeting, uh, it's a pleasure on part of a co-investigators to present the Isotuximab pomalidomide dex experience. My colleague, actually, Dr. Uh, Joe McHale, is presenting it. Um, but this is a, a study where um, we combined isotuximab with pomalidomide and dex in relapsed refractory patients. And isotuximab is a clinically at least a quote-unquote next generation monoclonal antibody although technically from an engineering point of view it's very similar to the basic constructs built around CD38 targeting which are best uh, uh, exemplified by of course daratumumab. Isotuximab is subtly different there is less complement activation there's more of an apoptotic signal in how it works and it has a benefit of a shorter infusion time and at the same time it can be given every two weeks once the initial weekly induction phase is complete after one month. So whilst it's strictly speaking in the same generation as daratumumab from an engineering standpoint, from a clinical standpoint, I think it's not unreasonable to think of it as a next generation antibody. And so the question is, how does it behave when combined with pomalidomide and dexamethasone and relapsed refractory disease, built on the fact that it seems to perform very well and very similarly to daratumumab as a monotherapy. Um, now, in that regard, we've been very pleased with how this combination strategy uh, actually delivers in terms of care for patients and, and outcome. It's been both safe, well tolerated and highly active. And Joe is presenting on behalf of the study group today um, the final results of that effort, uh, where we show a really striking progression-free survival benefit, much greater than we were expecting, in fact, approaching about 16 months in a relapsed refractory population, which is really quite remarkable uh, for a median. And certainly for our own centre, where we've been a lead enroller to the trial, we've been struck that the tolerance of the regimen is quite high. You know, it's good and positive, and the efficacy is quite remarkable. We've had very heavily pretreated patients in whom very few other options exist, and they've been successfully salvaged with the platform. Now, this has been validated prospectively in the ACARIA trial, which is a large phase three effort comparing isotuximab POMDEX to POMDEX as a control. And that study is fully accrued, and again, we're very pleased with how that enrolled very quickly in the multi-center international setting, and we're hoping to have results from that, uh, if not later this year, early next year, um, that we can, we can present and bring to the, uh, to the, to the, to the myeloma community.